And here goes Ono. He's going to move out now. His dedication on and off the ice sets him apart. What a great tactical race by Apollo Anton Ono. He's Apollo Ono made history in Vancouver as the most decorated Winter Olympian in the U.S. I don't know of any other athlete I've ever trained that could actually train with him at the level he trains. John Schaefer met Apollo eight years ago through another Olympic medalist, speed skater and Brooks County native Allison Baver. Schaefer was her trainer at the time and he came up with a program for the two young athletes. Schaefer runs the winning Factor Sports Science Center in Coomer Township. An unassuming diamond in the rough gym where he works with professional fighters, NFL superstars, athletes of all levels. He comes from a storied career. As a world champion powerlifter and kickboxer, 16 weeks ago, Schaefer went to live and train with Apollo in Salt Lake City. And I said, basically what we'll do is we'll come out and we'll set up a fight camp for speed skating. <laughs> and that's what we did. And it worked. Apollo went from 160 pounds with 10% body fat to 142 pounds gliding over the ice and right onto the metal podium. At that time, uh, for the games, he may have been maybe one of the best conditioned athletes in, in the world. Olympic speed skating came to an end Friday night, and just as John was heading back to Burks, he got a big surprise. It came in the form of an Olympic medal, but this time it was around his neck. Big surprise. It's like winning a gold medal in the Olympics yourself. Schaefer was awarded the Order of Ecos Medallion for excellence as an Olympic coach. It's the highest honor an Olympic trainer can receive. Vancouver was Schaefer's fourth Olympic Games, and he'll be in London in 2012 with sprint cyclist Gideon Massey. We asked if this was really the end of Olympic competition for Apollo Ono. Pay me now or pay me later. I said, so you better stay in shape because I have a feeling like in two years we may just get ready for Russia. I'd love to see him come back in long track because the kid's got a motor. In Coomer Township, Karen Millette, 69 News.